Well, uh, it's Sunday. I uh, got sidetracked with a uh, project yesterday, replacing a sink that went sideways. But he got it in. We're moving on. Um, I just got off a of video talking with uh, Pastor Chad, and he mentioned you haven't done a painting video. And I said, oh, that's right. I uh, got sidetracked with the project. So today we're just going to talk about some simple things I got going on um, out here in the garage. 30-something degrees outside. Uh, it's got snow on the ground. It's like four inches yesterday. But it's going to 63 Saturday, or I mean uh, Saturday, Thursday and Friday. So <laughs> it isn't going to be around. Anyways, um, really the bench is kind of clear right now. Uh, I've got two, the two projects from before. i got Gollum. And I'm going to show them in a second, but I just realized something. i gotta, I got to share something. Look at this stuff here. Can you see that? This is water texture. It's by Vallejo. And look at this. It looks... Tell me if this doesn't look like... Doesn't it look like hand cream? Look at that. It's white. See it? But what this is, it's like a, a cream. And when it dries, it's crystal clear. See right through it. And what you do is you use it to make things look like water. So you can do like a waterfall. You can kind of drip this down and it looks like waterfall. And I heard of it and I thought of it and I said, well, I kind of want to do a diorama. Not right now, but I'm going to. And I started thinking, I says, hey, wait a minute. I got a use. See, I wanted to make Gollum's eyes look watery. Can you see his eyes? And if you, I can't get the light, maybe one of these days I'll figure this out, but if you look at his chin, even, coming out of his mouth, I got it so it looks like he's, uh, he's drooling. And I got his eyes so they look like they're watered up. So uh, that came out really good. I'm really very happy with that. And, I, and, I, and it gives it a uh, certain aspect I was really looking for. So naturally, I'm, I'm on a roll now. And then I thought about, oh, baby Yoda, look at his eyes. And it's kind of funny is that all I want to do is make it shiny. But you know what happens is because I laid it down with the black and then I put the wet over it. When you look at them, they look like they're following you. And it's a little bit freaky. But uh, baby Yoda's coming along just fine. Um, I got the eyes done. I got to do some shadowing and uh, some uh, weathering on it, a little bit of touch up, but for the most part, uh, he's looking really, really good. And then I started another project. Um, it, was, it was a simple one. I just, I just felt like I needed a, a break, and so I started to do um, this little World War II truck. Just started it. It's uh, got a base coat on it. It's got the drivetrain underneath it, and uh, it's called a uh, Greyhound. It's a U.S. Uh, World War II Greyhound. Um, that one I'm going to put some weathering into. You got I got to shade it down. It's really dark, and uh, the way I'm going to do this one is it, it's been sitting out for a while. It's going to have flat tires. I started working on one. Here's one tire. You may not be able to see it lights very good see how it's kind of flat I'm gonna flatten the other tires so that it looks like it's sitting down and then I'll put some rust on it from being outside um, you can you may not be able to see this but inside it's uh, it's actually white they made them white inside and uh, may not be able to make it out but there I got it so it's rusting because it would have been rusting if it had been sitting out so that's those. Um, got another few projects going on. Uh, Chad, you're going to appreciate this. I love to just redo Hot Wheels, and I got a, a bag of them. Here's an old 442. As you can see, it's very shiny. What I do is I polish them up, give them a really good shine to them, and it makes it easier to paint them. Some of them I'll do a, like a clear coat on them. Uh, with color and it'll give it that metallic look and others I'll just flat coat over it 
Um, got that was the uh, Olds 442. Um, one of my exotics. This is a uh, Lamborghini Countach. You can tell it's a Countach because it's got the the wing on the back. Now I'm going to cut that wing off. There's a chip broken off of it, so I'm going to cut that wing off, and then uh, it becomes a different Lamborghini. Quite honestly, I don't know the name of it, but um, I'll get back to that. Here's a cool one. This is a uh, Mercedes Unimog. It's a Unimog. Um, it's got the big over Overland tires. Uh, what's interesting about this is, is I bought this from a man cave, and uh, what it is is it's got resin parts in it, uh, machine guns. Um, there's a snow plow with spikes welded to it. And that's going to go on the front of this. So I'm going to make this like a, one of those post Armageddon Mad Max kind of thing. So this is going to get rusted up. It's going to have machine guns on it. It's going to have a snow plow on the front of it. Um, some spare tires, some gas bottles and cans. I got those around here somewhere. Um, going to look pretty cool. So that's number uh, three. This is an old, and if... Uh, Cousin Bob, if you're watching, you'll have to tell me what this is. But this is an old Ford, I believe. Um, again, all shined up. Um, what I'll do with this one is I'll... Uh, I painted one red, and it looks just so sharp. But it had the uh, engine that it came with. So I'm going to modify this. So this is when I found a place where I can get some really big engines with big exhaust. So that's going to go on here. And I think that's a Ford, if I believe. Um, Somewhat across this one. 57 Chevy, my all-time favorite, go-to. Now, I've made uh, some old 50s um, stock car, race car kind of things with other ones that I've done. And uh, I think I still got some um, water slides left for those. So that's probably what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to paint this probably white, maybe with some uh, contrast color. And then I'm going to put some stickers on it. I got some race tires around here somewhere. So I'll probably put those on it. And then finally, this one here is not a Hot Wheels. It's not a Matchbox. I don't know what it is, but I stumbled across it. And I'm calling it, it, it reminds me of a uh, English taxi. I don't know if it is or not, but it kind of reminds me of it. So it kind of struck me that... Uh, this is a taxi, and it, when it was painted, it was black. And it looked pretty sharp, but I'm thinking I'm going to do this one in yellow. Maybe with the black roof. Give that some thought. But uh, this one, again, I'm going to put some uh, oh, some stock tires on it. Uh, race tires, maybe. And uh, I definitely I'll lower it a little bit. So anyways, so that's my Hot Wheels that I got going on. I uh, won an auction... Uh, last week, oh gosh, three weeks ago, I think about it, and they finally showed up. Uh, nothing really special, but it was a good win. I've been, I've been kind of hitting a dry spell. There really hasn't been much around. So that's kind of what's going on. Oh, wait, hold on, I just remembered something. I did start another project. I just, uh, all I did was primer it. I've got kind of got a few things going on but I, this one's been nagging me in the back I've been wanting to get back into it so I'm going to give it a go um, this is a B24 yes a B24 Liberator um, that's part of the fuselage the rest of it's behind me there I got it all primed and ready uh, I struggle with airplanes I really really do uh, I don't like the way the wings go and I get frustrated and I think I've maybe done two where I've been okay with the rest of them uh, they're in a pile I just I don't like them so I'm I'm, I'm I'm a little older and a little mature now so I'm gonna try them again and I'm gonna try to do this uh, 24 Liberator and uh, we'll see how that goes so if you don't ever see it again you know I got frustrated and pitched it to the side so that's what's going on this, I think it's the third Sunday in March, a snowy day outside. A uh, little cold out here today. I think I'm just going to go back inside and do some reading. Um, all right, so that's what's going on. I'll keep you apprised. I got 
Baby Yoda's looking great. Gollum's looking great. Oh, uh, before I run off, don't, I hope, don't leave, come back. Um, Popeye's done. Popeye is molded. The posse's cleaning it up because the way they make it, they have to sand it and clean it up in some assembly. They promised me it'd be this weekend. I haven't heard from them, but then again, that's the posse. They, they, they kind of hit and miss on me there. So we'll see, but Popeye's on the way. Originally, they were going to do it. They said they can't do it to the scale, they said, because it'll take 100 hours to do. And so I told them, all right, just just scale it down a bit. So I'm kind of excited. Popeye's on the way, uh, and I've got to be honest with you, when Popeye shows up, all the rest of this is going to stop, because i got to do Popeye. So anyways, that's what's going on on this third snowy Saturday in March. Y'all have a good one. Stay warm. Bye.